One sad effect of the French Revolution was the promotion of the cult of reason. Uh, many revolutionaries tried to push a very rationalistic uh, religion um, and tried to do away with some of the uh, overly pious aspects of the, the Catholic faith. Uh, luckily, this religion wasn't very, uh, was very short-lived, um, but one sad effect that it did have was the destruction of Mary, many Marian shrines around France. Uh, the revolutionaries saw this, the Marian devotion um, as something overly pious and maybe even superstitious. The Virgin Mary had a very, very strong place in the church in France. Uh, there's an old saying that says that the Pope may be the head of the Roman church, but the, but the Virgin Mary is the head of the French church. In post-revolutionary France, there was a fervour to uh, try and bring back uh, this devotion um, as a way to help people re-engage with their faith. Um, there, there's the classic saying of, you know, um, to Jesus through Mary, uh, developed by uh, Saint Louis Montfort. Um, and this was very true for the French people's experience. Many of them found an encounter with Christ by their devotion to his Blessed Mother. So Eugene saw this importance as well. And so when in 1818, the Bishop of Digne offered uh, Eugene uh, and the Oblates to take over the pastoral ministry um, of a, sh a small shrine up in the hills, uh, Eugene jumped at the opportunity. And so the second Oblate community uh, was started at Notre Dame du Lourdes. Uh, and because of this new establishment, it then meant that Eugene had to write uh, the constitutions and rules um, so that both communities could live the same missionary charism. And this started Eugene's vision for a religious order. The advantage to having communities based at Marian shrines uh, and not at parish churches uh, meant that not only could the missionaries be at the shrine ministering to the people that came there, but they could also base themselves from the shrine and go out to neighboring, uh, the neighboring countryside, neighboring towns to preach and to restore the faith uh, in those places. So these Marian shrines were actually very advantageous places of ministry for the Oblates in their early years. During the time of the founder, the Oblates restored and ran nine shrines uh, around France. The, this ministry um, of being ministers of mercy uh, at Marian shrines has continued in the Oblate world. To this day, uh, the Oblates minister in over 15 uh, different Marian shrines around the world, the most famous of those probably being Our Lady of Lourdes in France. The missionary charism of the Oblates means that they work in these places and they help create these places to be places of mercy, places of healing, places of compassion, and places of encounter. People can come to these shrines, maybe they haven't been to a church in many years, uh, maybe they've lost touch with their faith, but something draws them to these places. We believe that our Holy Mother draws them to this place so that they can re-encounter Jesus Christ and, and renew their Catholic faith.